What's up, guys? It is the one, the only, representing the Big Guitar section all across the world. It is Travis Well, honey, and welcome to the Shit We Do For Love Season 3 After Show, hosted by me. <laughs> We just gonna have a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed um, episode one, season three, episode one, actually, of the shit we do for love. It's uploaded right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed a sneak peek of next week's episode um, for episode two. The shit we do for love will be airing every single Sunday, 8 p.m., 8, 7 central, okay? <laughs> AP on Atlanta time, okay? So what do you guys think of the show tonight? I know we've been gone for a very long time, but you know, life hit everybody and we had to film and you know what it is when you're on these rally shows, it takes time for everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the season. I know y'all been blowing us up. Blowing us up, okay, about the show. When the show come back? When the show come back? When the show come back? Now we're finally back and we're going to have some good on time. Um, I see some cast members coming in. Ra Ra, definitely jump on live and come and speak. Malcolm, don't start me now. I said I, I, said I was going to behave tonight. I said I ain't going to come up here and read Malcolm. I ain't going to do that because Malcolm hell, hell was napping tonight. And if you would have saw how Malcolm looked tonight, then you would understand why his hair looked like that. You would have understood completely. You know what I'm saying? But I said I was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boy? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing. How you doing? How you doing? Doing How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So, what did you think of the show tonight? Oh, I asked you first. It gave me very much season one vibes. Season one? It gave you season one vibes. That's a good thing. Why you say that? Because it was like, I saw friend circles, everything was good. Um, hashtag the white stuff, that was hilarious. I can't remember which one y'all said something about white stuff. I guess he like this particular white stuff. <laughs> uh, white pinto beans or white grays or whatever y'all was saying. <laughs> <laughs> that, white, that, that white cheese, that was some white cheese, boy. Okay, tell I us what was going good, on I think it was a good episode. Huh? That was a good episode. I think that was that like, Kevon kicked out for the bang right there. I liked it. That. That's what's up. It was amazing. Um, that was Matthew, my first time at a wine. I ain't gonna go nowhere because I'm bringing y'all up next. Period. That was my first time at a winery too. You ever been to a winery? Um, the liquor store where you buy wine and the crows. <laughs> right. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying, bro. But that was my first time experiencing like that. It was nice though. It was nice. I got lit too. You see, Kevon gonna put all of these like. <laughs> Why were you drunk? Huh? You were drunk. Why are you on that high? No, 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 we ain't gonna say we ain't gonna say I was drunk. I was definitely lit, but we ain't gonna say I was drunk. Have you heard before? Peace and quiet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, please join us. <laughs> Who is it? Join That's Calvin. Calvin. Yeah. Nice and peace and quiet. Why are you on now? Because it's Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day? It's Sunday fun day. Did you just wake up? Did. did. <laughs> so, rah, rah. Oh, I feel like I'm interviewing everybody tonight. What's so, rah, 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 rah. You are one of the What's OGs. Up, How it to work? What's up? How do it feel to be one of the OGs and you're back for season three? You've been here with me and D'Angelo since day one. How does it feel to be back for another season? For the shit we do for life. It feel good though to see how far we came to where we at now, to see where we at now in life. It's mm -hmm. dope, uh, it's like it's real good. I done went through so many different high changes, it's crazy. I'm about to say, damn, it's crazy, shit. like damn. You know what I'm saying? I need to get me on the weed. <laughs> oh, oh baby, this is all me though. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely I know when shit. we was at the photo show, I like that. Now that's all you. You yeah, now you gonna change it again? I'm thinking about cutting it off right now. Hey, that's some shit. <laughs> Y'all, Ra Ra is the Cynthia Bailey of the group. You know, definitely, Cynthia Bailey hey, changed her hair every other day. Definitely, hey, I'm very much so Portia Williams. No, uh, Cynthia changed her hair. Portia don't change her hair that many times. That's fine, but I definitely ain't no Cynthia. I'm Cynthia just, I, 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 I got more flavor than Cynthia. Cynthia got flavor, I like Cynthia. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> now, when you hit the blogs in the morning, I don't want to hear. Ooh, I, ain't gonna I don't want to hear. I said, I, I ain't got no problem with you. You know, I love sex. She just, I just feel like that ain't me. That ain't my character. So what can we expect from you this season? Listen, did you like the intro? I did. Like it was very, it gave me very much um, the uh, mob, the mob, mm -hmm. the talents. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing <laughs> I would say is I wish it was a little bit longer. I did. I wish it was a little bit longer. It went by a little too quick. But other than that, I love. Yeah, that. we didn't have taglines because last we did. We did. We, we, did. Did. we had taglines, so it made yeah. me think. I kind of like not having no tagline because I ain't gonna lie. This season, I couldn't even think of shit to say for real, for real. Oh, I had a good one. I just told somebody earlier. I, um, what it was gonna be? I can't remember right now. I don't want to tell on here. Then people try to see it. <laughs> I have to it too. No, I want to hear. I want to hear because I was so. I can't tell you on live. Oh yeah, you got you got to test it to me because I was sure I don't give a fuck. I was sure gonna ask you one for me. Hey, run me a tagline this season because I can't My, I got I got two. I got two. But not watching the show, I got a few. I got a few up my sleeve too. <laughs> so, uh, so Rara, what do you think of our new newbie cast member Alonzo? You know what? It's so funny because even when you know how I like to post, like you know I'm always sharing our stuff. But even when we was posting, I could not think of Alon Alonzo name for nothing. So I ain't really tag him in that. And then it was so funny watching the episode. He said his Instagram name right at the top. <laughs> he said his Instagram name right at the thing. I was like, oh, there you go. Let me tag him in it. But other than that, I think Alonzo cool though. Since we met, I always said he's been cool. I had when I uh, went to his establishment, his job, he treated me right and stuff like that, free drinks and stuff like that. So I think Alonzo cool. Y'all don't really like Alonzo. He's very um, soft spoken. He's fun. Um, he's um, the peacemaker, I would say. Um, what? Uh, the peacemaker? What? What? The peacemaker? Y'all swear that was me. Swear that was me. Who the peace? I don't know about you being the peacemaker, Ra Ra. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You did a couple of screams this season. You think so? I know, so I was there. Ooh, oh, oh. No, oh. not Ra. <laughs> not Ra. Not I yeah. I think this season I'm just being, I'm just cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm just cool with everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's I think up. this season's going to be, it's going to, it's, for me, I think it's gonna be less drama compared to season two because you know what we had to go from season two. No drama. This season, it's gonna have its drama, obviously. But I, what I will not to give the show away from everybody that's watching at the Instagram land, Facebook land, and also YouTube land. And um, TikTok land, woo woo woo. And TikTok, hey TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I yeah, keep trying to tell you to come to my class that you're playing. Say what? I keep trying to tell you to come to my TikTok class you're playing. You must put me in one. I, I travel. Let's go. I try. I keep forgetting your ass stay in Atlanta now. Hey, you see that put Travis stay in Atlanta? Finally, Travis. Stay. <laughs> oh, did you catch the shade? <laughs> did you catch the shade? Yeah, it's a, then he put it in slow motion too. Travis finally moved to Atlanta. And, put, and then production tried to keep up there for a long time. Like, okay, right, right. Slow motion with Michael. His slick back. That was. I like Michael. I like that though. Child, that's probably the best you'll see Malcolm here ever. Ooh. <laughs> 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 now, y'all, we just playing with Malcolm. I don't want nobody to see Malcolm. I love Malcolm. I ain't seen Malcolm in a minute either. That child, Malcolm ain't the same. Uh, if you saw how he said what's the diet, you'd be like, oh, girl, you need to go back to that scene. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Alonzo, who is a newbie newbie. And then we have a friend to the show that's now a main cast member, Brian. Marlo Hamilton. Give it up for Marlo Hamilton, y'all. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I, 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 child. Come on, Marlo. <laughs> y'all been new Brian. Brian's been a friend to the show for season one and two. Y'all remember Brian? Yes. Uh, now he's very, a main very cast cool member. Yes. And I hope you come on here and actually speak about them because I actually do have a few questions because I saw both sides of what he was talking about. Um, far as the comments, and I also saw. Uh, yeah, I man, I was around, so I ain't really get that. I I meant to rewind that part about him and his dude. I called you on the phone to be intimate because I don't like going anywhere without my man, especially in that setting. You weren't there with me, and my friend was out with me, and he starts flirting with a guy, and the guy was like, "I want your friend." He was, his boyfriend was out somewhere, and somebody walked up to his dude. And he was saying, uh, I guess they was giving each other compliments and stuff like that. And then the I'm with him on that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, yeah, uh, right. especially with the gays. Now, if it would have been a girl, 
I would have let that slide. But with D-Gay, dude, exactly. You know, but you ain't finna be doing that shit while we on the phone anyway, bro. That's disrespectful. Now, that's that's I, I saw you know I saw saying? both like, sides. Hey, now, bro, if got, was, I'm on the phone, bro. I'm on. Hey, thank you and keep moving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I agree. I saw both sides of theirs. Both I sides. What was the other side? Well, um, his boyfriend had said something to the lines of. Um, uh, he was just giving a compliment. A compliment was a compliment. If he wanted to do whatever, it would have been following that. I get that. However, I also sided with Brian because, bitch, if I'm on the phone with you, I should be the only person that you should be focused. Your attention should be on me first and foremost, not on nobody else. Now, if you give now, if, if somebody was giving you a compliment and you just said thank you and going about your way, then yes. But the part or you going out your way to give somebody a compliment, what's the purpose of you doing that? Now, I know, exactly. but also honestly, it also the depends and that's not I'm not directing this at Brian I'm just saying this in general it also depends on what your security level is you know some people may have an insecurity and stuff like that and some people may not have an insecurity that and it's probably based on your past or a situation you have in the past because let's be honest in the gay community some people may say oh he cute he cute or something like that and he said oh you cute and they may think oh you're trying to holler at them even though in your head you may be just giving a compliment some people take that the wrong way and I would I understood what Brian was talking about because bitch you ain't gonna be on the phone with me and you give another nigga a compliment bitch you need did you tell me that I look good today <laughs> okay the fuck oh damn I ain't getting that compliment today who you talking to the fuck okay <laughs> So I saw both sides. So I thought that was a healthy conversation. It was uh, definitely a healthy conversation. But on the side I seen was I know damn well you ain't getting this no nigga no compliment while I'm on the phone. Fuck. No way. Child, it could be me. Mm -hmm. It could be me. It yeah. could be me. Linda was also introduced. Linda is a friend to the show this season. Y'all saw him on a date with Noel on episode two, the little sneak peek. Linda, are you excited to see yourself? Is this your first time doing television? No, I did it. Uh, well, yeah, because that that wasn't released. So yeah, technically. So, um, what can we expect from you for this season? Um, nothing, nothing really. I wasn't. Um, I had a lot of drama with the show, but it was a lot of off-camera drama. So a lot of it wasn't picked up. So it was. It'll probably be really chill and low-key actually on this show. Oh, it's picked up. <laughs> mm -mm. No. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know what he talked about it. This show was, honey, because I got questions. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot. Great times. Damn, how I missed that. Well, uh, the, the, the get on top, because, honey, I can start going to questions. I'm really talk about this online. Um, so, <laughs> what are you looking forward to this season? Like, you know, you are in, um, will be seen next episode. And you're out on the outing with um, Matthew, uh, formerly known as Noel. He, uh, respectfully, uh, Matthew's new name is Matthew, uh, formerly uh, Noel. I think y'all know what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. So you are coming out on the next episode. Uh, what can we expect? Like, what are you? What is your vibe? Um, and what are you I, looking forward to the most? Oh, nigga, free! Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Brian. <laughs> right, right. The people in the comments said, let Linda ask the question. Go ahead, bro. Brian, I heard that shot. Oh, um, period. <laughs> I think this season, it was, uh, I mean, uh, no, my Matt and I developed a, uh, we developed a great, a great friendship after, um, after our date and just getting to know each other. So, I mean, I guess still getting to know the cast, I mean, for the most part. Um, I pretty much know everybody. I pretty much hang out with everybody. You were probably the last person I needed to get to know. And, um, yeah, so I'm basically pretty neutral with everybody. So what are your first impressions on the cast members? Different ones. Let, hold on, I'm, I'm going to go down the list, and I want you to say your first impression. Uh, what about um, D'Angelo? Your first impression of D'Angelo? Well, I've known D'Angelo forever, uh, so... I mean, we don't really hang out as much anymore, but I've known him forever, so, yeah. Ra Ra. That's my dog. That's your dog. That's Period. my dog. Period. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who else on the show? Brian. Brian is so cool. Brian has great energy. Uh, Alonzo. Oh, shit, I forgot about him. I don't, I haven't interacted with Alonzo. Okay. Um, Me. I like you. <laughs> I like you. Uh, you know, all just aside, Lyndon actually 
we had a good this is off camera mm -hmm. um it was uh, i had invited a few people over mm -hmm. and my, my significant other was there or he was or well, we lived live together there um but that was my first time really having a good conversation with Linda. yeah he was a he was a key i was a key um linda ate doritos he don't eat um <laughs> ground beef or brown, brown, brown. you had to cut that up <laughs> Oh, you had that up. Child, you know, we offered him uh, some chitlins. He said, I don't know. I'm like, well, we got to trying to get some of them all Thanksgiving, though. That is he, sad. Linda got him some Doritos. He ate his Doritos. He picked a few grass seeds and eucalyptus <laughs> uh, plants outside. He topped those up with a little sesame seed, and he ate it fine with his vegan dressing. <laughs> and a lot, of a lot of alcohol. How long have you been vegan? Actually, I'm not vegan anymore. I was vegan for a while, but now you I'm ain't taking now. No, I'm vegetarian. So I'll do you ain't save up now. You said what? <laughs> eat what? Oh, that's pescatarian. You said vegetarian. What they eat? That's like uh, animal byproducts. So I'll have shit with butter in it or with cheese in it, but I won't eat like meat, basically. Mm. When you make a hamburger, hamburger, you put a little butter in. You don't eat that. What is uh. that? Hamburger helper, you buy it for the grocery store. I, I, yeah. I am dead. <laughs> what about crab legs? Mm -mm. Shrimp. Mm -mm. Damn. Damn. What are you supposed to eat? You don't miss both like that. I don't eat shit out the water. Maybe I don't eat shit. I can't say a spell. <laughs> right, right. You just had crab legs. I saw when you would eat crab legs before. No. I ain't seen me no cry legs. I want to fuck some cry legs up, though. But you Season one. No uh, oh, hold on, production. Don't be turning my lights on. What that TikTok going here talking about? Please stop eating cry legs. How would you feel if somebody opened up your legs and cracked you open? Like, <laughs> I don't mind being cracked open. I think I would look quite like for somebody <laughs> to open up my legs. <laughs> I don't mind being. I mean, this, this a family show. I I'm going to do that TikTok tonight. This a who show? A family show. I said, what are you most excited about on this season? I'll, I'll be excited when the box starts going good. Um, this season, um, I definitely say people see less drama. Now, y'all still gonna get trash with y'all know my mouth is rich. Um, but I don't think I've turned up as I have in the past on the show. So I hope people see growth from that. Um, I think I got more personal for this growth. Growth well, you ain't growing up on this planet. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I would definitely say growth this season. Um, yeah. for sure. I think I got I got very personal about my personal life. I eat family stuff and also just me. Oh my god, that was such a sad so. part of the day when it came on today. I was just kind like, of oh, kind of like, oh. I, I got a little sad about that. I was like, man. Cause then once she come on, it make you want to be like, it's the, it's gonna be that same question like, oh my gosh, she's still my pound type of thing. And it's just like, yeah. So the people that have reached out to me, I really do appreciate. I, I am going to say that I'm not going to be selfish. Um, I do appreciate everyone that has sent prayers, that have reached out to me, that have shown me love, that have sent a simple message or just sent a simple text about uh, my sister is missing. Uh, my sister is still missing. Uh, she's been missing since January of this mm -hmm. year, and mm -hmm. we are. Um, approaching December. Um, so she is still missing. We're still hopeful. We're still praying. I'm doing the best that I can. Um, yes, I have my moments, but I'm honestly doing the best that I can. I have a great support system. And I really do thank all of you that watch the show because you guys really be saying some very kind words and stuff like that. I need that message at that time because the moments I won't have a moment and I can go yeah. to my inbox or somebody say something massive. Thank you. Uh, that was a lot to watch now. I did. I tried. Yeah, I can't imagine that. So, yeah, my prayers are definitely with y'all, man. Always. But what I will say, this year alone, um, you'd be surprised how strong you are until you actually go through something. Come on, somebody. That's a word. You would be surprised. Uh-huh. So I'm like, if I don't been through all this stuff this year alone, um, I can handle anything. I can conquer the world. Yeah. No, God ain't going to put on you that you can bear. He only, he only going to put on you what you can bear. Yeah, I believe I started this show when I was, uh, not started the show. I've been on this show since. Ooh.
Well, it's only three seasons in. <laughs> but you know, I just celebrated 30 this past September. Last year was 28, 20, 26, 27. Oh, I'm 34 this season. Yeah, so that means Ra Ra was how old when you first started it? 32. 32. That you was that um that you know. Yep. Mm. And you 34? Yes. Faithfully. Um Linda, how old are you? I've been 28 so long, baby, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I feel like, listen, okay, because I dance show been 29 right there with you. you hear me? Woo! I like being 29. I feel like that was a, a dangerous year. 28 was my favorite. I was Maybe so alone. I grew up at 30. Man, mm -hmm. man, listen. When I my I've been my third has been amazing to me because I for one I get all the time I don't even look like you, you know what I'm saying so when I tell people my age they look at me like what are you serious and you know and I like the attention when they say that because I take good care of the skin over here you know what I'm saying drink a lot of water I go to the gym you know what I'm saying I jack my thing on the regular so everything be all right you know what I'm saying I heard they give you high cholesterol who <laughs> no, no baby you you so you're supposed to reproduce baby. I, you is here to reproduce. Get that out of you. Every now and then, it's all right. And I'm, I don't I'm do that. Every now and then. I'm at a point now. Linda, where you going? You going to Pentecostal Sunday? Where you going? I was just going to say, brother, where is you going? It's 947. Oh. I'm you said what? Work. We going to work because I'm, I'm at work right now, too. Put it in the parking lot. Ready to walk in this mother, son. Well, you had to open up your eyes, bro, bro. Right. Right. Baby, my eyes are open. Don't you see me? See you? See me? Hi. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Don't y'all? I ain't, I ain't even smoking nothing today. Oh. At all. I got off at seven o'clock this morning. Went to my first client from seven to ten. Left there. Went to my second client from there from ten to four. Went client. Home, took me a nap. What type of yeah, client? You know, I you take got, care brother? of my. Re I take care of two residents that left the nursing home. They ain't want to stay here no more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then I went home, took me a nap. Then I went back out and linked up with Damien and Noel to watch the show. And oh, we yeah, they the face show. Me. Right, and you didn't answer. No, I talked to them. I, didn't I know you didn't talk to me. Yeah. Watch this, Linda. I'm going to see if he had now. Oh, after, no, the show, no. after the show, no. I left nowhere and I came to work. Watch this, Linda. I'm going to ask Robert one question. If he answered this, he ain't high. You ready, Robert? Huh? You ready? I'm going to ask you a question if you had not. Okay. Oh, you want to tell me? 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 You want to Oh, he said he only had one blunt. He only... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I only weed. I don't do shit else but weed. Oh, you know, he's going to go. Hold on, hold on. Now, see, I ain't seen any more things. Yeah, yeah. I know, me. I know, fried chicken. <laughs> I heard fried chicken. Y'all better, better come get one of these. Yum, 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 yum. It's a chicken plate. <laughs> no, why y'all playing? If y'all haven't had no real chicken, y'all want some real fried chicken by the Koreans, it's a place called Pelicano Chicken. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a buckhead. It's called Get somebody Pelican. else to do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, get somebody else to do it. Uh, you uh, that leg, man, you be ready to convert back. Bro, listen, if you want some good ass chicken, bro, take your ass to Harold's. Harold, I just we just had Harold's um, chicken. I was uh, child with you and new berated. That's the best food, child. Boy. I will fuck it themselves. Period. Period. And you can't just eat one chicken leg, huh? You got to eat multiple. Travis, we got to get up, man. We got to get up, bro. I'm off now, so I ain't that, I ain't that nurse on no more. So we got I got daytime, free daytime, huh? Um, I'm having I'm something next Saturday. Saturday. I will send you information because you've you been invited what? to multi. You've been invited to oh, multiple. Only, only, only two. You only missed two of your functions. That was a little get together child, house and then your birthday thing. You missed three. Only a thing. You missed all your birthday. You missed yeah. my birthday, and you was invited yeah. to game nine. You did not show up. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. I missed all three of them. I was, I was filmed. 
Oh, Ryan, you didn't go to the game night? No, nah, uh-huh. You know I'm doing that project with our boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't tell me that. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, I'm working on a project with, um, I can tell you off camera. Mm. The people at the college want to know what project you working on. I got a, I got a couple of projects dropping, and um yeah you know and one of them I can't I can't even discuss so I tell you off camera, but that's the one I can't discuss but keep me busy like hell like I've been on that shit. Didn't about to tell you. As you should be, that's a good one. Yeah, see. Um, Linda, people in the comments want to know um uh, have anybody? Why people in the game? comments? Cause I ain't been seeing the comments. You well, said you what? So your eyes closed. That's three right <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> you said people in the comments wanted for what? The people in the comments want to know. <laughs> the people in the comments want. They said no, 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 no. Okay, they said. Um, then they said, "Have anybody ever called you Miguel?" Did. Uh, uh, I never heard it before. The the um uh, the singer. Oh no! Mm -mm. First time. The first time. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, the people that come, they say, is Linda, I tell you, I don't know. Let me let me find out. I'll ask him a question. Oh, no, he, he, he don't do that. Uh, he don't do that, baby. Y'all say, he, if y'all think, if y'all think Linda look like Miguel, put in the comments and say he's like Miguel. Who is that? Oh, uh, y'all can't see the names. I got these lights. No, I mean, uh, Ferris, uh, Oh, the singer guy? Yeah. Oh. Oh no! You have nobody never told you that. Mm mm. Really? Mm mm. Hold on, mm -hmm. somebody else. They said, "Honey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on." Baby, you killing me? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you killing me? <laughs> they said, um, "Hold on, Miguel." So not Miguel. There, you got me calling Miguel down this shit. <laughs> Um, man, so what did you eat? I know when you came over here, you had went outside and mowed the lawn real quick and put a bowl of grass <laughs> and you put air fry and put a little salt on it. <laughs> but what you been eating? You know what? You I actually have a plate right here that I just bought. You know, I'm going to show it to you. She said you went outside and mowed the lawn and came back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, he I, did. I, he I, put I, it in the ball. He I, said, Kevin, let me buy that lawnmower real quick. I said, okay. I said, what you back cut? He said, I dog just gonna give me this. I said, okay, I don't know what he was talking about. He came there, he had a bowl full of he dumped that stuff in the air fry, put a little lemon pepper, a little lime, a little salt. <laughs> and he was eating it too. I was asking for a piece. No, no man. This, <laughs> this, the, um, this is called a cauliflower steak. Who? It's cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. I just bought it at this store downstairs. What steak? That's the steak right there. It's cauliflower. Oh, I ain't going to What? <laughs> Name done. Yeah. It's, 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 it's basically just cauliflower with, I forgot what the stuff is on it, and Brussels sprouts. Oh. I, I see he must not be good, Robert, because he ain't touched it yet. <laughs> well, it's for my trip. I got to fly back home tonight. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. See, Linda, ah, this is what you do. Linda, you said you're in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Okay, when you go out your hotel, you're going to take a left, go down that road, and some Popeyes <laughs> right there. They open to about 10 30. Go get you a number two. Uh, <laughs> and some black and season and eliminate. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching mm. it. <laughs>